Hey guys, uh, all right, so um, after long awaits uh, or a long waiting period of time, uh, I got my um, Battle Foam PAC 720 custom case in and I couldn't be happier. This is a totally awesome, awesome, awesome case and uh, actually uh, as of right now it fields every single one of my four Dystopian Wars armies with the exception of uh, my Covenant, or not Covenant, but um, my French. Uh, which I just ordered, <laughs> of course, because somebody needs to stop me. Uh, anyhow, so I'll just give you a little overview. I highly recommend this. If you're if you're looking for any kind of case solution um, for your Dystopian Wars products, this is incredible. Uh, so first off, uh, basically it's got a very hard handle, um, and then this is like a Kevlar um, weave inside of the canvas. Um, Super tough. I don't know if you guys have ever used like the Flames of War cases. I got two of them here. Um, they're a little bit lighter in construction, and I've noticed that a couple of mine, because of the heavy models, the tops here have bent a little bit. No such case uh, on this big one. Here, this is this is plastic on the inside, so it's great. Uh, in here, you uh, have a fairly large pocket that I put all of my dice in for like. Um, uh, scoring um, damage, uh, assault points, and uh, you know just your normal dice rolling. Uh, here you've got uh, ample space for rule books, uh, which is good because we're starting to get a lot of rule books in Dystopian Wars. Uh, over here, I have space for uh, all of like more counters, um, and then my templates. Uh, in the back here, you've got a name tag, uh, and then you also have another space to put like army lists or uh, some smaller, maybe not hardback books. And then finally over here, you have another pocket, um, which I've got like tape measures and measuring devices and that kind of thing. Um, when you open the beastie up, what I did was I, I built a combination of pre-formatted and then completely custom um, foam trays. So we've got this large foam tray that's a pluck foam. Uh, I just figured it was good utilitarian purpose and I'll probably put the majority of my French in there. Uh, now Battle Foam was really nice and they made an exception for me and allowed me to put some Dystopian Wars trays in here which was awesome. So I've got my British starter fleet here. Um, I've got my Covenant of Antarctica fleet. I've got another small foam tray. Um, which has already got some stuff in there. Um, I've got a Prussian starter set, uh, a Prussian medium and smalls set. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, this is one of the custom ones that I made uh, for some of my larges for Covenant. Uh, going on here. Oh, this is for the Covenant um, uh, land set that eventually I'll need to put together. Uh, and then there is a large tray here of all sorts of odds and sods, like mostly Covenant. Some French, I, I did a custom French starter set here because uh, there wasn't one that was designed up. And then finally I have uh, Covenant larges and some Prussian stuff. Oh, also some French stuff too. Um, yeah, so that's a hell of a lot of models to stick into one, you know, I mean, it's a large case for sure, um, but you know, it's it's not bad. I mean, you know, I could definitely run, well, there's, you know, a few thousand points of Dystopian Wars in this case. So, yeah, anyhow, I just thought I'd show this off, and uh, if you guys ever are thinking about getting cases or you want any advice on putting a custom order together for them, I highly recommend these guys. They are awesome, were very, very helpful with me. Um, you know, and just guided me through the process. It was it was relatively painless, other than you know just designing up the initial cases um, or the initial trays that I had to make custom. But um, you know, their custom online tool is is totally awesome. All right, thanks. Bye.